I grew up here in this community. I grew up in Valdez. I always wanted to be at a Valdez school, and this this obviously is when I was at East Burke. That was nice, but it was way too big. It's got a real hometown feel to it. I know most of the kids. I know most of their families are somewhere reassuring and helps us to uh, you know contact uh, and serve the kids better. Also, it's named after Dad. That's a nice bonus. with a dream. The dream of a new school, smaller, more intimate, more friendly. A school where students could feel at home, where they could feel that they truly belonged. But first, there were trees to be cleared, land to be leveled, bricks to be laid, wild stands of scrub pine, home to deer, turkey, and raccoon, and possum had to be opened up. New buildings, athletic fields, parking lots, and a gleaming new stadium had to be built. The dream became real. Thanks to hard work, vision, and determination, Drawn High School opened its doors in August of 2008. A new school was born, a new spirit was born, and a new place was born. A place called... Jimmy C. Drawn High School, home of the Wildcats, and welcome to our school. Good morning, and welcome to WDHS Channel 67 News, home of the Wildcats. Today is Friday. Thank you. Friday, October 21, 2011. I'm Mr. Poteet. And I'm McGee. Please pause for a moment of silence. Don't forget to order your yearbook as soon as possible. Cost of sixty dollars is available. Uh, is available through October twenty fifth. Order early and save money. Big money. Or save your parents money. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Mr. Poteet. And I'm McGee. Behind the camera and rain sound is James Deal with his East Burke hoodie on. May I say, providing technical assistance is Bradley Pendergrass, and behind some unknown camera is Austin Helms. Thank you, and have a wonderful day in Wildcat Country. Champion. We're going to be this going to be in a wheelchair because he's going to be so old and disabled. Yeah, he will. But you'll still be a football coach. And I'll, be in a wheelchair. and I'll be married to Ben's mother. Yeah. That's Ben. Oh. Hey, seriously, Larry? Who else needed a quiz? I didn't. Like, we make the video and send the essay. Take a video and send it in. I'm actually starting to start to like it. I like this recycle player. Well, you didn't like me before. <laughs>
This kid jumped off the bleachers at Heritage Middle School. <laughs> my favorite memory at Drone High School is the first time I marched on the field is the marching wildcat marching band. Sitting in Brent Huffman's class with Katie Trivet, living it up, dog. <laughs> no, we were there. Um, probably spend time with my best friend Taylor Wellborn because we had the best time ever and it was so fun. My best memory at Drone High School was playing football my senior year and being a uh, uh, I'm going to remember basketball the most, and I'm really miss it when it's over. Probably when Keith walked through the locker room, lifted his leg, and grabbed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> when Thomas Russell kicked me in the face with a basketball, really? Yeah. Okay, in Heritage in 8th grade, I had Ms. Harris for math, and she would always scream random things like, Get the letters! Or, letters on the left, numbers on the right. Mm, say goodbye. My best memory of drone high school was playing football and being around my best friends. Sophomore year when we had communication skills with Bill Poteet, who I have a special surprise in store for tomorrow. Uh, probably running around with the Ridiculoids during your book. Uh, I'm probably, for me, probably going to have to say, uh, when I got butt naked and ran through McDonald's. So. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I don't know, this year we made a rap for Eastburg. Yes. The rap against the Eastburg team yes. for the uh, football game. That was pretty G. We made a video and everything. That was fun. Um, going to the third round of state playoffs in softball last year. Uh, junior year when we locked Alex Simon in Mr. Hunt's closet and poured baby powder on him. That was, that was pretty funny. My favorite memory at Drone was when the band went to Disney World and we got to perform at Hollywood Studios with all of our band friends. Uh, my favorite memory at Drone was being a Ninja Turtle with Haley, Sarah, and Amanda. Playing and staged for soccer. Uh, probably Mr. Rosebox class by, sure, by far uh, making videos. Probably Mr. Petit's class, because it's just the funnest class ever. Probably when we was in PE class and everybody was sitting down, Presley squatted and whistled and started shaking his coffee for everybody to get up. My favorite memory at Jerome would have to be the past four semesters eating lunch with all my chamber singers. Okay, my funniest memory would have to be sophomore year civics class of Mr. Lambert.
And I say no. Come on, say what you were trying to do. Cause I'm not your boy. I just let the music come from my soul. So all of my people can stay on the floor. They got a brand, they got a brand new thing. You got to move your mind. So brand new thing. It's coming to the show. I'm a pimp. That's what I do. And it's what I love to do. of 2012 that uh, I was fortunate enough to coach. I uh, would like to tell you that we're extremely proud of you. Uh, I admire each and every one of you. Uh, you guys at a very young age spent some time in the Valley having to play varsity football at a very young age. It was certainly rewarding to see you get to, to enjoy the fruits of all your hard work, uh, having a successful year. And uh, we hope that uh, by being a part of drone football that uh, it'll hopefully make you a better young man because I know it's made me a better person having worked with you. Thanks. pleasure to be able to coach you for four years. I was able to see you grow into great volleyball players. You guys developed great skills that led you to be more competitive throughout your senior year. I not only saw you develop as a volleyball player, but I was also able to watch you mature into young ladies. I hope that being a part of our volleyball team has instilled many qualities in you that you can carry throughout your life experiences. You girls are like family to me. And, I hold a, and you hold a special place in my heart. I hate to see you go, but I know that you are about to face bigger and better things. I want to leave you with this final thought. Anything is possible if you think it's worthwhile. If you're willing to go the distance, to go the extra mile. With determination and effort, you can often achieve more. Because you don't always get what you wish, but what you work for. Dreams can be challenging, but no matter what the cost, Strive to complete the task before you, and you'll never end up lost. So bring with you your goals and leave your doubts behind. Whether you think you can or can't, 
you certainly will find you'll be right either way. So never quit, and this is why. You'll never become a failure until you fail to try. Good luck. Uh, ladies, it's been a good four years for, for you four-year seniors that were losing. And uh, one thing I want to say, uh, I didn't teach a lot of tennis, but hopefully one thing I did teach is the word compete. Uh, take it with you and use it, you know, whatever you do after you graduate. Uh, to my senior soccer players, I'd just like to say uh, to remember that success uh, just does not happen, that you uh, have to work hard and sacrifice to be successful. My message to the seniors from the cross country team is to always remember that you will pass out before you die and you'll puke before that. So always push yourself. Okay, to the senior golfers, uh, Mary Ann, Temple, and Molly, congratulations on a, on a successful season, the best one we've had yet. Uh, hopefully it's a game that you'll continue to play. Uh, and I've had a great time being your coach. Good luck in all you do. The Wildcat Inn, better known as the cafeteria, will be serving. We're having the pepperoni. It's made with macaroni. Beefaroni's really neat. Beefaroni can be beef. Beefaroni sells the trees. Lunch meal I drew in high school. Chicken sandwich. Uh, you don't know? No, I'm pretty sure it's those flat shell talkers. That are real good. You seen them up there in the cafeteria? <laughs> uh, ravioli. The second day they have it, so it's kind of burnt. We don't have them anymore, but it had to have been nachos. Wasn't that? Let's get back in there. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, can you cut all this out? Yeah. Okay. Um. What patty? I want to pick mozzarella sticks. Is it just French? Probably a personal pan pizza. Chicken chunks. I'm gonna have to say hot dogs. I don't eat school lunch, but the cookies are pretty legit. Um, probably be the fantastic pizza. Um, I don't eat lunch here because it's nasty. All the food's nasty. <laughs> I don't eat school lunch because it's gross. <laughs> broccoli. Definitely broccoli. Uh, I don't have one. Yeah, my favorite lunch here at Jones probably uh, chicken chunks, definitely. Oh, I like ketchup on them. <laughs> probably bag lunch hamburger with the melted cheese, definitely the best. 
are born in great opportunity. And that's what we have here tonight. Yes, we do. Tonight, we are the greatest powder puff team in the world. Yeah! Now go up here and take it. myself as a successful business owner uh, because I'm going to join my brother's business because he's an indiv individual business owner ran like global. Uh, most likely working somewhere in the uh, construction industry and uh, missionary work all around the world. In 10 years I'm going to be working with babies and making my own. My plans after high school is to go to CVCC college and get my CNA license and move in with my best friend Nicole. In 10 years, I want to see myself in New York producing and acting in Broadway musicals. I think I see myself in a shampoo commercial. Oh, um, no, seriously, Molly, really. <laughs> Um, hopefully I'll be away from Bear County in a nice little house, married, two kids, and a dog. Uh, probably, probably right back here. I, I like it here. It's very peaceful. In 10 years, I see myself still living with my parents. <laughs> um, after drawing, I plan to go to a four-year university and study nursing, and then uh, go to medical school and career have a career in nursing. In 10 years, I see myself on the LPGA. Uh, I see myself in Burr County and with like doing business with my parents and my uncle with the gas stations and many other companies. In 10 years, I see myself married with at least one child and working at a hospital. Appalachian State University. Western Piedmont to study cellular molecular biology. <laughs> he's he's gay Lido. And in 10 years, I see myself hopefully being in a band that I'm doing now and traveling around the world. Something I've always wanted to do and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm um, currently practicing in a band right now and hopefully to get it up so that's where I see myself. In 10 years I see myself married to a white girl with three kids and working as an entrepreneur. Bull riding, married to Colton, living in a log cabin. In 10 years I see myself owning my own bakery. Hopefully I'm going to be an elementary teacher. Hopefully getting out of med school. Uh, in 10 years, uh, I see myself with a family of four, living the American dream in a nice house with a 
what fancy I'm not in the house. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, I should be a nurse, um, making some bank, making some money, uh, and that's probably it. Being the principal, hopefully at a Burke County High School, hopefully this one. Hey guys, I'm James Deal, and I'm here today to uncover the apparent mystery as to what all I do around here and the legend of James Deal. I've been asked to tell you what jobs I do around here, and that's a long list. It's going to take me a long time to think about it. I'm, see, I'm the newspaper editor, head athletic training student, sports announcer for everything that Bill Petit doesn't announce. Way to go, Wildcats. And pretty much sink every moment of my spare time into this place. So. I announce and direct WDHS, which falls apart on most mornings if I'm not here to press the right button, so that's the kind of thing. There's the been asked the question, do I have an office? And, well, if you count leaving my stuff laying around the school everywhere, then yes, I do have an office, but I mostly share the training room with Rosalind. And the final question, am I on the payroll? Well, no. But as much as I do around here, you would think I would make more than Mr. Jones and Miss Garrison put together, so... That's that. That's the legend of James Zeal. That's all I do around here. basketball team. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate you guys for finishing, the, uh, being the first finishing four, uh, four year players here at Drone High School. I know that most of us have been together since since you were scrawny little ninth graders and you've really grown um, and, and, and have a lot to be proud of. Um, I want to thank you as you guys get ready to start a new chapter in your lives. Uh, I want to thank you for, for allowing me to start a new chapter in my life. It was a pleasure spending this last season with you. Uh, you know, over the past four years, we've been through a lot of times, both good and bad, uh, hard and easy. Um, but that's just part of growing and, and, and continuing it to grow up. And, and the sun always came up for us the next day, regardless of the circumstances. If I could give you just a, a quick bit of advice, um, I, I guess. You know, from the times that we've shared together, I would tell you to to remain true to yourselves, be who you are, say what you feel, and in life, remember, you know, uh, the, the the people the people that um, that that really matter don't mind what you say, and, and ignore the ones, the people that you know that that don't matter um, because they're the ones that are going to mind what you say. So. Um, you know, stay true to yourself. Say what what's on your mind, and and and, and chase your dreams. Good luck, y'all.
tonight my message to the senior uh, girls basketball players. I want to thank you for the hard work, for laying the foundation. You've been here for four years. Uh, you were the first group coming in. Uh, you've been through uh, good times and bad times, but I thank you for all the work that you've done uh, to uh, get the school started off and the program started off in the right way. I paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. And bad mistakes. cheerleaders. Um, thank you for your dedication and um, thank you for being good leaders. I hope and wish the best for you in everything that you do. I hope that you enjoy cheerleading as much as I enjoyed coaching you. Um, good luck and uh, thank you for being such good leaders in our sport. Thank you. My tallness and me and my brother. Uh, being huge. Hopefully they remember that I was there for them or dependable throughout high school. Uh, my craziness to, uh, and my ability to make everyone laugh. That's pretty much it. My dreams of revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Having an audience to preach my message to. What message? Of socialism and anarchy. Anarcho syndicalism. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, saying what I think. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess me being myself. Hope everyone remembers me for my personality. Um, probably his digging people in football. <laughs> that I'm always smiling. Uh, my sarcastic attitude. Uh, how awesome I am. That was really nice to everyone. 
having great hair? Uh, probably for making people laugh, I guess. In case you've been asleep and under a rock for the last few weeks, remember Saturday is prom night. The vestibule and the gymnasium of Drawn High School will be magically transformed into Paris, France. Did not in Paris. AKA Paris. Tickets are now $40. They'll be on sale in the media center during all three lunches today. D O D A Y. Capitalized, underlined, bold. Is the last. L A S T. Underlined, not capitalized or bold. Day to purchase a ticket. If you want a prom ticket, you got to buy it today. Tickets will not be sold at the door. You show up without a ticket, you will have to go home. You will have to take your date to Burger King. <laughs> Shimmy, shimmy, y'all, shimmy, yam, shimmy, yay. I'm a old dirty dog all day. No way, Jose. Your girl only go one way. I mean, money. You should check that out. Maybe you ain't turn around. Maybe it's none of my business. But for now, work it out. Let's get this. students, not too many, I want to remember. But uh, other than that, that's probably it. Um, I guess sports, softball, and the coaches. Um, I have to say, being around a bunch of friends, living it easy, and playing football. One thing I'm going to miss about Drone is all my friends that I've grown up with here. I'm going to miss doodling in class forever. One thing I'm going to miss about Drone is hanging out with my friends and having lunch with them. One thing I'm gonna miss about John is skipping class. One thing I'm gonna miss about John is my senior class. The thing that I'm gonna miss most about John is eating and sleeping in class. One thing I will miss about John High School is my best friend. 
No, no, it's not. What, what part do I say? Do I say. <laughs> what was my question? One thing I miss least about Drone High School is Mr. Drone riding the golf cart breaking his leg. Um, PE class. <laughs> Probably advanced drawing. And why? Because I love to draw. Um, being lazy. Friends, of course. Jakey. <laughs> um, probably playing like the sports that we played in school and friends. Alright, ready? Okay. <laughs> my favorite teacher is Patricia Jake. Reason being is because she's funny. Uh, my favorite teacher is Miss Shatley, and the reason is is uh, because she's just I'm musical and music is my life. I know that she is a music teacher, so she helps me out a lot. One thing I'm going to miss about drawing is definitely Mr. Sigmund and his class because he showed me a lot about my art and it's definitely what I'm going to use to continue on my future later on in life. Uh, not doing a dang thing. My favorite teacher is Miss Charlanda Clay because of how she's always there for us. Um, Mr. T because he was always so laid back to us to everyone and I learned so much in his class and he was awesome. Uh, the people and my friends. And that's about it. Um, the one thing that I'm probably going to miss the most about Joan is being a part of our marching band and all the friends that I had in there. message to the uh, senior track members is uh, I've always been brought up and told that if something was easy it wasn't worth having. I always uh, remember hard work and dedication will get you where you need to go in life. I always remember how hard you had to work to get something and how much you appreciated that afterwards that you achieved that goal. So my message is always work hard for everything that you have. Dream high, work hard, and I hope the best for you always.
four years ago, you came in as ninth grade boys, got thrown into the fire, uh, had a two and 21 record. Uh, today, four years later, you are CVAC champs. They've grown into outstanding young men. And I hope the four years that you experienced here playing for me on the baseball field uh, will help you in the future. Good luck. Best wishes. Swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing. Swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, bada bada swing, yeah. All right, my message to the seniors is, you know, I've been with you since you were in the seventh grade. I thank the world of you. I spent more time with you than I did my own family, so I always considered you my daughters. And you ladies worked very hard, played hard, very good ball players, and I believe in you. And if you ever need me for anything, you always come back to me. I thank you for all that you've done for Heritage and for Drone. I love you girls. Do well in life, love your parents, and I don't know what else. What? What is my message? Skater. What's your message to the class, the senior tennis players? What up? Here are Sam. Snacky. Sick it. Hopes and dreams alive on the first tee. How soon they vanish with just one swing. Put God first, listen to your parents, and slow down. Thanks. Uh, my advice to your class uh, 2012 is to uh, never give up. No matter what gets uh, put in front of you, what obstacle uh, throughout your life, overcome it. So if you can just do that, that'd be great. Thanks. One message that I would leave for the senior class is to set your goals high. You never know what you will achieve, but you may not achieve it if your goals aren't high enough. Okay. Class of 12? Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Don't, don't goof off. Be productive. Remember that there's a lot of competition out there, and they're looking for achievers. They're not looking for people that are just trying to get by. With greater population, and with more, they've turned out more and more students. It's hard for the college students to get the jobs. So the ones that are showing that they can achieve stuff is the ones that are going to be the big success. Everybody, look, 2012 graduates, we are so proud of you as the first full graduating class of Drone High School. You're very special. You have a big responsibility to go out to the world and do great things. And we're very proud of you. So good luck. I have three things to say. Number one, be nice to each other. Number two, save the sea turtles. And number three, as hard as I tried, I couldn't fix stupid. <laughs> this is called a pregnant pause, by the way. Okay. For effect. No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you are wonderful young men and women for the most part. <laughs> Go out there and do all you can do. Be who God meet you to become. My message to the class of 2012 would probably be to stay focused on your goals, but also learn to follow your heart. You will be missed. Well, most of you will be missed. To the class of 2012, uh, it's been a real pleasure of mine to see you guys grow and mature coming in here as ninth graders. Uh, our first truly 
100% drawn uh, class. Uh, we just uh, want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your lives. And certainly wish you the best in your future endeavors. I miss Bradshaw, um, one of the counselors. My message to the class of 2012 would be to have fun, um, enjoy life, but also stay very focused on your goals. Um, and remember when you go away to college or you go out into the world, remember to call home. We want to hear from you. Good luck. Okay, hey class 2012, I wish you guys the best. Some of you I've been with you since kindergarten, first grade, I've known you for a long time. Some of you uh, maybe wish I had known a lot longer. I just want to wish you guys the best of luck. Hope everything goes well for you. Don't forget me when you make your millions of dollars. Don't forget me, I need money, I'm just a poor teacher. So good luck, best wishes, God bless. My message to the senior chorus members is, um, first of all, I can't believe that you're graduating already. It seems like you were just freshmen coming in and afraid to sing out, and now look at all the things that you've accomplished over the four years that you've been in chorus. Uh, it's just been an absolute awesome ride, and I'm so glad that I got to be a part of it. I have a quote for you that I want you to take to heart. This is the beginning of a new day. You have been given this day to use as you will. You can waste it or use it for good. What you do today is important because you are exchanging a day of your life for it. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. In its place is something that you have left behind. Let it be something good. Good luck to you guys, and I'll certainly miss you. Um, and I hope as you go on to whatever your next endeavor is that life gives you the best it has to offer. Congratulations. I'm Miss Clay and my message to the class of 2012 is don't be afraid to fail because oftentimes we learn how to succeed from failure. Good luck. <laughs> you ask him. And to the class of 2012 one message what would it be? You don't want to know what my message is. Come on, just give the message. You don't want to know. <laughs> what? You heard me. <clears throat> give, give me a message, come on. I'll show you a message. Just remember, wherever you go, there you are. Hello, seniors. Uh, as having the opportunity of teaching most of you in U.S. history, I uh, wish you all the best. It's a special group. I really had a lot of, a lot of fun times with you guys. Uh, but uh, you know, hopefully you learned some history from me, so go out there and make some history. Advice to the class of 2012. If you're in a hole, quit digging. <laughs> hey, I'm Bill Petitch. I've taught some of you as freshmen, some as sophomores, some as seniors, some as juniors, some the whole time. I love you, and I'm going to miss you. I'm Ms. Burris, the 10th grade English teacher, and my message to the graduating class of 2012 is, honesty truly is the best policy. My message to the senior class is, don't plagiarize, don't procrastinate, and have some fun. To the class of 2012, I love y'all, and I'm very proud of y'all, and enjoy life. To the seniors, the first true Wildcat class, I wish you all the best in your future. My message to the class of 2012 is to live life so that when you slide into the pearly gates, you're completely worn out, used up, totally, you've lived life to the fullest. This is my message to the class of 2012. You can't argue with stupid. We love you and we'll miss you. The message would be, do or do not, there is no try. Hey, senior band members, this is Mr. Sossman. Just want to let you know, make sure you always keep music in your lives. Sunday shoes, cap and gown, with a whole town gathered around. Waited 18 years, now it's all coming down to this I scan the crowd and it fills my soul My best friends all here in Rome No turning back, now it's time to walk that line 
this tassel is gonna turn But when the moment passes by We'll just walk away Then slowly grow apart But I'm not gonna cry Sweet goodbye, but I'm not gonna cry. Friday night, football games, first loves and first heartbreaks. It didn't matter who won or lost, only how we play. Memories as good as gold. Tearing up those mountain roads Racing out 53 To old Georgetown Sure we've made a little trouble But learned from every mistake So there's no regret in me We've done the best we could So I'm not gonna cry Years of my life, so I'm not gonna cry. It's been a long and winding journey. We've lost a few along the way. Still, we've hung in there through the tribulations. Now it's time to celebrate. It's our graduation day, yeah. So I'm not gonna cry. This has been the best day of my life So I'm not gonna cry It's a bittersweet goodbye I'm not gonna cry Sunday shoes Cap and gown, with the whole town gathered around. We did 18 years, now it's all coming down to this. I stand the crowd, and it fills my soul. My best friends all here in Rome. No turning back, now it's time to walk that line. This tassel is gonna turn. But when the moment passes by, we'll just walk away, then slowly grow apart. But I'm not gonna cry. Sweet goodbye, but I'm not gonna cry.
A decade ago, of course, none of this was here. No stadium, no buildings, no parking lots, no students. Just a thick stand of pine woods. Deer, possum, turkey, and maybe an occasional wildcat. But the dreams were here even then. Dreams of a new school, a smaller school, a school based upon community. A community, as an English teacher might tell you, means coming together in unity. August 2008. Hard times, trying times, money shrinking, jobs disappearing, but the doors swung open. In walked the freshmen. Drums charter students. No Cavalier blood in their veins, no memories of East Burke, no thoughts of how things used to be. 2012 seemed a long way off then, the future always does, yet it wasn't so long at all. Freshmen matured into sophomores, sophomores awoke to find themselves upperclassmen, and then they were seniors. Along the way, they fretted over EOCs. They practiced and practiced for the writing test. They completed science labs that never once blew up the school. They walked to the river in search of bugs. They wrote papers. They prepared PowerPoints. They cursed pop quizzes, even conquered that fearsome fire-breathing dragon known as Senior Project. They did more, of course. They also scored touchdowns, shot three-pointers, hit home runs, ran 5K, slammed goals, passed the goalie, sank butts, and showed that wildcat pride. They played music, marched in precision formation, sang songs, recited poems, made movies, wrote short stories, and shouted to the world in a thousand different ways, we are the wildcats. Of course, but they also snuck Kisses. Skipped first period and went to the college. Flashed their brilliance to the patrons at the Valdez McDonald's. Wore hats inside the building and maybe even had a chew. And they grew without knowing it. They matured almost despite themselves. They stopped being children and they became young adults. And so today, June 8th, 2012, marks an end. For these young people, it is a time for greater voyages, for journeys to new lands, for meeting new people, for doing new things, for marching away from Drawn High School. But never will we forget this time, this place, and these precious, precious young people. For they were and will forever be the first full-blooded wildcats. And they will live forever in our minds and in our hearts and in our undying memories of these amazing first four years in wildcats.
favorite memory at Drone was uh, definitely playing baseball and being able to work with all the videos and the music with the basketball games and all the athletics and spirit clubs, pep rallies, just being able to be behind the scenes kind of. Uh, my favorite memory at Drone, uh, ooh, I don't know, uh, probably listening to Coach Lambert and his civics class, that was, that was really funny. Him and Justice Pants, you know, the old, uh, looks you know good, the old, the old pant maneuver. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, in 10 years, hopefully I'll have some brand of computer programming job somewhere in a little nice house, being happy. Uh, in 10 years, I think I see myself uh, living the egg dream, making 750k a year. <laughs> no, I'm Hot blonde wife. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing I hope to be remembered for is uh, always coming up with different sayings and making t-shirts that everybody bought. But you, Luker? I hope to be remembered for the... Uh, the Elkhart Productions definitely saw the videos and the, uh, the music and baseball. Hopefully, people remember me for that one a little bit. What you gonna miss about drunk? Oh my! Definitely the teachers. I mean, all the teachers are awesome. And baseball, of course, That's really about it. Uh, I'm not gonna miss a lot of things, but tennis is gonna be probably my number one misser. Snacky, I'm gonna miss you a lot. So that's what I'm gonna miss. Darren, uh, what's your favorite memory here at Drone? I'm gonna have to say throwing a dip in with my buddies after lunch, chilling in the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, now do it. Uh, my favorite memory at Drone was when Coach Wrestley was pitching things for us and he walked in and said, Free day. <laughs> Okay, hey, now what's your favorite school lunch food? I'm about to say Pepsi. That isn't served at school. Uh, it is now. Good luck to the class of 2012. I wish you the best and success in all of your dreams and goals that you set for yourself. Always push high and go hard. No way. Yeah. <laughs> They can do anything a shoe can do. And that's why they don't need to discriminate. DC Shoes USA. There's a website. You click on the second link. And you give it a link. You know how many diseases I just got? Five. Sixteen. It's proven statistic of uh, looking shoes. 